Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So it's been a while since we last received a Power Toys update. And just to let you know, Power Toys version 0.76.0 is now available for Windows 10 and Windows 11, which is now the latest release. And this rolled out a couple of hours ago. Now, with version 0.76, we get five key highlights, five new features. And quite a major upgrade is that now PowerToys can now run on .NET 8, which basically means that it should be a lot more stable and faster than the previous version on .NET 8, which isn't a good thing. And then just focusing on some other key areas, if we head over to our dashboard, which was a new feature that rolled out a month or two ago, and we head to our keyboard manager. Uh, the keyboard manager can now remap keys and shortcuts to send sequences of Unicode text. And the keyboard manager um, lets you reconfigure your keyboard by remapping keys and shortcuts. So now you can send sequences of Unicode text. And there's another uh, improvement where they have modernized uh, the keyboard manager editor UR, the user interface, to uh, match the look and feel of Windows 11. And then while we're talking about modernizing, three utilities have been modernized. The user interfaces um, have been modernized to take on the look and feel of Windows 11. And the first is PowerToys Run, which is a quick launcher for the desktop. So just to activate that, we use Alt and Space. And that's uh, got a bit of a UI refresh to match Windows 11. And the next one is Quick Accent. And a quick accent is an alternative way to type accented characters. And uh, um, this apparently has received a bit of a user interface when you are using the uh, feature. And then the last one that's received a more modern user interface like uh, Windows 11 is Text Extractor, which is a way to copy text from anywhere on the screen. So to launch that, we use Windows, Shift and T. And there we go. So we can now copy text from the screen using the text extractor and that apparently has also received a bit more of a more modern user interface to match Windows 11. So quite a lot going on with uh, PowerToys and Microsoft trying to improve the user interface. And then the fifth uh, key highlight is if we head over to the File Explorer add-ons, there is now a QOR image preview handler and thumbnail provider. And that stands for Quite OK Image. So that's a new um, preview handler that's now been added to the File Explorer add-ons. And File Explorer add-ons, as many of you may know, allow you to manage your Windows File Explorer custom preview handlers. And then over and above that, if we head over to the general page and we click on release notes, this will take us over to GitHub where Microsoft maintains and develops PowerToys. And we've mentioned the key highlights and um, too many to mention for this video, but basically um, numerous utilities and um, tools have received improvements and bug fixes. So if you are interested and want a bit more of an in-depth look as to what has been fixed over and above the key highlights, then just head to the release notes where you can check those out over on GitHub. And PowerToys, as many of you may know, is available uh, for Windows 10 and 11 from the Microsoft Store and is a set of utilities to tune and streamline your Windows experience for greater productivity. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.